one thing that a lot of people may not know is you had a very strong relationship with Bruce Lee. Uh, we all know Bruce Lee the legend, but what was Bruce Lee the man like and how did you guys meet? Well, um, what's interesting is that he and I lived in um, a complex. It was, uh, you know, actually very close to each other. And uh, we got to know each other and I actually sparred with him. That's uh, where you <laughs> fight, but you pull the punches. And yeah. he trained eight hours a day. I'm telling you, eight, I think it could be Christmas day and he trained eight hours a day. And uh, very fast and very quick and very confident and a wonderful personality. He had this smile that, you know, you, it makes you laugh. I mean, he, and we got along well. I remember that um, one time we went to dinner down in Chinatown in Los Angeles and uh, his wife, Linda, and at the time, his son, Brandon, okay, who grew up to be an actor and then had a very tragic accident. But Brandon was six months old at the time. And uh, it was just, it was great knowing him and great sparring with him. And, and then what happened the same executive producer, William Dozier, that was producing Batman was producing a show called The Green Hornet. And he was cast as Cato. And because that show was going to air the, in the fall of 67, mm -hmm. that he, because being the executive producer, he used our show to kick off the introduction of The Green Hornet and Cato to people, you see? So they brought him in on an episode of our show. Actually, they did two things. One, of going up the side of the building and the window opening, and there was, you know, um, uh, you know, Cato and the Green Hornet. But then there was an episode, and, and a piece of trivia for your listeners and viewers is that, of course, we all know that Bruce became the most famous cinematic martial artist in history. Oh, yeah. I, I, well, uh, what's really a great piece of trivia is that Bruce Lee's first film fight scene of his career, and obviously became the most famous martial artist of all time, but his very first fight scene that he did on camera, on film, was fighting me on Batman. And uh, they didn't want it to, you see, Batman, everything was stylized so that you could have violence, but it wasn't violence that anybody was ever yeah. heard. But, I mean, it's something that you can have, you know, a, a chair could be picked up and, and you know, knocked on somebody's head and they fall down in two seconds, they're up again, you know, you know, that kind of a thing. So it was stylized and so that it would be acceptable for all ages, you know, um, you still have action, you still have violence, but it's in a kind of a contained way, so to speak. And so the fight scene I had with him had to be in that style. You, you understand? Mm -hmm. And, you know, like I hit him and then he, he kicked me and I rolled over uh, this table and desk and we, I mean, you know, it was, uh, and it was great, you know. It was it it, it was it was great, and uh, and uh, it was it, it turned out wonderful, and, and it was a a wonderful thing. And years later, um, I would see him some at some of these martial arts tournaments and stuff like that. And uh, he uh, he he was very very confident, but he had reason to be confident. I mean, he really could do everything you saw. Mm -hmm.